come, come hither, come, come. Yee. It doesn't. He doesn't want love when you give him love, but he always wants love. Cat conundrums. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's MBR. Welcome back to another milestone video that I honestly did not think was gonna come this quickly, guys. It's been two years, around two years since I started my channel. And this was like kind of my life channel long goal of reaching 100,000. I've said it multiple times before, like if I ever reached 100,000, I would be just ecstatic. And guys, just to let you in on a little secret, we reached 100,000. That's kind of crazy. Like that's that's how much uh, subscribers or even more subscribers than some of the channels that I watched religiously uh, before I even started YouTube and the people that I looked up to and stuff. And by the way, I'm out here. Usually the magic happens in this room. That's my my office, my recording room and stuff. But um, just want a little change of scenery. I get bored in there a lot. It's it's pretty dark. And also there's just like natural light in here. That's that's really nice this kind of overcast which i guess is really really good for photography and stuff just so it's not like direct it's like having a, a natural soft box outside I, so i guess maybe that's why there's so many photographers and stuff in seattle i don't know or maybe it's just because we're hip cool people yeehaw that's not what they say here one of my friends kind of warned me that if i put everything in there black it's just gonna make me depressed and stuff so i'm gonna try to color things up in there Maybe have like some glowing LEDs or like some of those Hue Phillips lights, I don't know. Or maybe just colored stuff, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out eventually, make it so it's more likable in there to me and I actually wanna spend more time in there and, and feel good. I got a salt lamp, that's a start. It's a little orange glow, but it's crazy how much stuff has changed since the, the very beginning, like I said. Um, like just, I don't know. It's crazy that after two years, this is now like at the moment my full time job, uh, and I and I couldn't thank you guys enough. Like I'm trying to as much as I can. Like it's really hard for me to try to do these videos because I'm so hard on myself, and I feel like I have to do things that are exactly right and super duper special instead of just like. And I I keep on telling myself like one way like you have to do something extravagant. It has to have this this and this this and this. It has to be so much effort, you have to put so much time into it. And then on the other side, I'm just like, dude, just say something. Like, just make a small video thanking people out there that have been with you since, you know, 100 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, 10,000, whatever the number, like, it doesn't matter. As long as they're here, like, just let them know how you feel. So that's what I ultimately end up doing. And then I end up doing another video as well, which I didn't actually do for 90,000, but now it's like, Whatever, I'm just gonna do a bunch of other videos that I've been wanting to do for a long time, which kind of lets me segue into uh, what I'm doing for 100,000 subscribers. Um, so a lot of you already might know that I am uh, I had a little bet going with Bo, Zaltaman, and since I reached 100,000 subscribers before my second year, I'm going to Europe at some point. I don't know when, hopefully that's during like a gaming convention or something. He lives in the Netherlands and Ray lives in Germany. So it's gonna be kind of in those areas. I think Germany, no, Netherlands is a, is Northern of Germany across the water, right? I don't know, geography is not my strongest suit, but I wanna kind of go, you know, have a, a larger trip and, and do stuff around there. So I would have to bring like maybe a gaming laptop so I could record stuff and all that, or I would just vlog the whole time. Do a little bird -a bow I've actually been watching that a lot. I don't know, I don't know what it is like PewDiePie. His gaming stuff, like honestly, a lot of the times I'm not super duper into it, um, but his vloggings, like it, you really get to see the person and like how much fun he has with his friends. I don't know. I'm always like into watching vlogging channels. Like I watch probably Casey Neistat the most out of any, I, I religiously, like I'll go get my coffee, come back, put a uh, uh, Chromecast onto YouTube and then watch Casey Neistat. And then after that, I'll be like, I wanna watch some more YouTube, but I gotta go to work. So, uh, which work is YouTube. So it's kind of a weird cycle. Like I'm feeding the beast, but also living with inside of it. Oh my God. Some other videos that I'm gonna be doing, there's just like random ideas. Like I feel like I've, I've gotten complacent and somewhat bored a little bit in like the everyday normal videos. So I'm gonna try to like switch it up a bunch. I'm gonna be doing some other posts that are like, maybe minute long shorts or something like that, that are shit posts, I guess people call them, but it's just like, I have a funny idea and I wanna record it and I want that to be a video. Like that's as simple as it is. 
And um, I'm, I'm doubting that those are gonna be videos that are dedicated for a day. It's probably gonna be like bonus videos, like on the weekends, um, you know, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. I don't know, maybe even during the weekdays. We'll see how it goes. I'm still a little bit behind. I've been catching up slowly with my schedule and I'm trying to do it so I will post every day at like around 12 p.m. Western, spe Pacific, specific, Pac specifically Pacific time, West Coast, US. <laughs> and then if I ever do two videos, I'm gonna try to do it till it's 12 and then two o'clock. I just feel like having two hours in between the videos makes it just, I don't know, more spaced out. So, um, and then also, I don't, I don't know. I'm just not up that early. So well, I've been getting up at like 9.30 or, or 10 uh, a.m. lately, which is early as heck for me because I used to be a bartender and I used to work, you know, super late nights and all that. So um, yeah, it's it's crazy to actually see sunlight. This is a, not a normal thing for me, especially coming from, from Seattle. So you get it like once a year and that once a year, I would always pass it up because I was working. You actually get a lot of sunlight here in Seattle. It's not what people think it is. It's not raining all the time. I uh, I think it rained maybe like once this week. I need to go outside. I need to go for a run. That's something I've been doing a lot too, is, is trying to get more physical. Um, I've been trying to run a little bit more and uh, I still need to uh, join my friends to go back to the rock climbing gym. I loved, I loved rock climbing. Oh my God, I was so into it. Like. Not even just like outdoor climbing, but even just the indoor climbing is so fun. Like if you guys live near a rock climbing gym, you should go towards a rock climbing gym. I've never been a fan of, of working out, but it's an activity that it's, it's so fun and it works your entire body and it is a, an awesome workout. It's amazing workout and you get fit very quickly. Um, and it's, it's just fun. So you don't think that you're working out and then you can do more of it and then it's awesome. So, and I've been trying to dwindle down some of my series. I've been thinking to myself, like I have too many games that I'm trying to play at once. Also look at that little kitty butt right there. I feel like a lot of times I'll have too many series going at once and, uh, I'll try to rotate them, you know, through the week and have them land on certain days or whatever. But the amount of series that I have right now, I'd have to do like two videos a day which is not something I'm into right now. Like that that's more of a weekend thing that I'm trying to aim for first. And we'll see how it goes from there. Um, but the way that I edit, you know, things take a little bit more time than just like slap the footage on there, cut a little bit and then export it. Like that's that's kind of how I do like my playthroughs, I guess, like through the woods right now. Like that's, that's one of the series I'm doing right now. And I think it's coming to an end. So that one's gonna be off the board and then I'll get another one going or whatnot. So we'll figure it out. Oh crap, I just realized that Dishonored came out today. I was supposed to play that last night. I got too tired and I fell asleep like an old person. So <laughs> so that might be a series uh, possibly if you guys want it. Um, I really enjoyed the first one and, and the second one looks pretty cool. Supposedly the PC had bad ports though. So I'm, I'm kind of worried for that. A lot of people have been saying like, it's not the greatest cross over to PC game. Like, like they developed it for Xbox and PlayStation 4 or whatever and then they're trying to bring it over to PC, but supposedly it doesn't work out too well. I'm hoping that's not the case, but we'll see how it goes. So because I'm doing this talk thing on a Friday instead of a, a Sunday, I just couldn't wait for this video to be put out until Sunday. Like I just, I, I wanted it to be done. I wanted to do it now. I had the inspiration to do it. I was just thinking a lot about you guys and, and um, you know, everything that you've done for me and, and what this whole thing means for me is it's freaking insane. Like it almost doesn't feel real. Like I, I just kind of do my thing and things work out, but I don't realize like how much support it takes for this kind of a thing to happen, especially for a channel at 100,000. Even a lot of people that are larger than my channel don't even have the opportunity to make this a full-time thing. And it's just, it's awesome. Like it's a lot of work, don't get me wrong. Like the, the you know, a lot of people think that it's, it's not very hard, but it is if you do it a certain way. Like you could just, you know, put out whatever, you know, you wanted or unedited stuff and nothing against that. Like, in fact, I watch Game Grumps a lot. Like that's one of my favorite channels. Uh, and, but those those videos don't take a whole lot of effort to do, which is fine because it's like the commentary itself is, is what I go for. Like, that's amazing. Maybe one day I'll be talented enough to be, uh, you know, really, really fluid and spontaneous like they are and stuff like that. And who knows, maybe, you know, playing uh, games with Dan would even be, you know, helping out with that stuff too, especially if he's over here. Like maybe that'll be like my next like venture, you know, is, is having that series being a very, very constant part of the channel. 
Um, but we, we, you know, it's still being built in there. Like it's almost, you know, finished. It's, it looks so much better than when I showed it. Um, but we're still like missing a couch and, you know, some other few things, but, uh, you know, it shouldn't be too long before that's up. And I'm very, very, very happy to announce to you guys that we finally wore him down. We finally broke the man himself to get himself a PC. Dan has gotten himself a PC with the help of, uh, I had a lot of people on discord help me out with the computer parts because I'm not, you know, super knowledgeable about PC, even though most people should be if they're into gaming on YouTube. My, my recording stuff is very different than the norm. So uh, I don't actually have to rely on my PC too much. It's just there to play the games and that's it. And I bought it, you know, pre-made by somebody that lives in my old apartment building. So eventually I will want to make my own PC though. And that's probably going to be coming up pretty soon because, um, I don't need to upgrade, but I kind of want to, <laughs> but yeah, he, he just bought himself a PC. It's a, it's awesome. It's an awesome PC. He spent like 1400 bucks on it. So it's, it's pretty stable. Um, and yeah, I got help from Ray fella and Oompaville and, uh, Zoltaman a little bit. And Rifty was, I guess the main person I asked at first and then Ray fella came in. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for helping me out with that Dan thing. And I'm probably going to announce that Dan has a PC and he might even make a channel on another video just because this is so far into, uh, a different video and I don't even know how many people are going to get to this point of this video to find that out. So maybe hopefully you're all still here. Uh, yeah. Watch time. Cool. <laughs> oh, analytic jokes. How inappropriate you are for every single video you're ever in because it's painfully true and also just kind of awkward. So anyways, guys, I'm really, 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 really excited for just everything that's going to be coming up pretty soon. And, uh, in the, in the future. And, Hopefully, you know, um, my next goal for this next year is I want to I want to keep on kind of like doubling, I guess. So it's going to be incredibly tough, but I'm up for the challenge and hopefully you guys are too. I'm hoping to get to 250,000 for this next year. I feel like that's a good goal to keep is 250,000 because this last year was pretty nuts. I had a couple like viral video, well, not viral videos, but like viral for my channel, the gaming community and stuff like that. Um, of specific games and the way that this channel is going right now, like it's steadily going, you know, up or whatever, but it's not like exploding like it used to be during Dying Light and Fallout and a little bit of Subnautica as well. Um, so I need to kind of, you know, look around for those kind of games that are going to take us to the next level. And, um, you know, right now I'm, I'm looking at battle battlefield, like me and Dan have so much fun playing those games and we play them all the time. So I just record it all the time. And I even have a cut up episode of about, um, it's like, it was like 45 minutes or 50 minutes of gameplay and I cut it down to like two minutes. So there's like, it's going to be even a bunch of footage from different days and stuff. I don't know how I'm gonna put that together and, and not make it look just kind of weird, but well, I'll figure it out. Other than that, like, I don't know, like who knows, who knows what's gonna happen. Maybe Dying Light 2 will come out or Techland will make another game that is similar to Dying Light and that'll, you know, help me out as well. Um, I'm getting about, I think like five or 6,000 subscribers a month, uh, last 30 days and stuff. And things obviously, you know, snowball, but things just go up and down on YouTube all the time. Like I remember, um, there was a month where I got like 2 million views and that was huge for me. And now it's at like 1.3 or something like that. So the views have gone down and I was getting around 10,000 subscribers or whatever. And I'm not complaining. Like those were during the times where things were like exploding and stuff or whatever. Um, and, and now it's like just kind of mellowed out and there's a steady climb and stuff. I'm just really glad that I'm not going down, you know, like that would, that would really suck. That would really, really affect my emotions a lot. So because I invest so much into this and, and hopefully it shows and hopefully uh, you guys stick around and, and enjoy everything that I give you guys. So anyways, thanks guys so much uh, for 100,000. And again, my goal, our goal is gonna be 250,000 for this next year. We'll see if we can meet that. And if not, then whatever. I just wanted to kind of like shoot, you know, shoot high and then expect nothing or whatever. I don't know how to explain it, but thanks guys so much for sticking around and for all of your support. And here's to, the future and whatever else it may bring at us. So uh, uh, hopefully nothing but good things. So thanks guys so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one and remember to keep having fun. Bye bye.